This is the C8 2020 Corvette's launch control. I said, God damn! Ferrari and not a 2020 C8 Corvette, you're a an idiot. All right, you guys, all jokes aside, I'm about to show you all the ridiculousness that is the 2020 C8 Corvette. This is what I'm considering the market disruptor. Supercar companies, manufacturers, Dave, Ferrari, Lamborghini, Porsche, and McLaren. This car is insane. $80,000 and you get all of the stuff that I'm about to show you. Man, this has got supercar looks. Like, just look at this car. You can't buy a better car for $80,000. That is my personal opinion. I'd like to see you in the comments by the end of this episode. You need to watch the whole thing, but I dare you to argue with me that this car doesn't beat Lamborghini, Ferrari, Porsche, or McLaren. Bang for the buck, hands down, right here, right now. We're gonna get in this car and I'm gonna show you how bad, how bad, 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 naughty of a girl this car is. Naughty you ready for girl. this? Naughty little girl. Let's go for a ride. All right, guys, welcome to the cockpit of this masterpiece. Now, I cannot believe blown away by the quality fit and finish of this car. And again, you gotta remember, we're putting everything into perspective here. Like, this car's $80,000. Like, go to Ferrari with 80 grand, I'll be like, yeah. thanks for the 10% deposit yeah. on the car. Bye-bye, <laughs> bye-bye. <laughs> Brand new yeah. 2020 Ferrari is the F8 Tributo. Yes. That car is $300,000 more on top of what this car costs. That's incredible. $380,000 to get one of those cars. This car, I've already got it in track mode, but check this out. So you got this little dial here, and we're not gonna get into a tricky review about all the Bus, bu buttons and whistles. We're not that channel. We're just gonna show you all the ridiculousness that is this basically package, because this is a supercar. This is officially dubbed by Daily Driven Exotics, La Corvette, because La Ferrari and this car have a lot in common. That sounds ridiculous, but I'm serious. So this Corvette is now mid-engine, balancing everything way out to supercar performance. <laughs> Now this car could sound better, but I believe it's gonna sound better when it comes out with the flat crank Z06 engine. And just imagine, think about that. This is a Stingray, you guys. It's only gonna get crazier. Z06, ZR1. Um, they're talking about making something called the Zora edition. Yeah. That would be all wheel drive and a thousand yeah, horsepower with a hybrid. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Anyhow, here we go. So this is Touring. Then we got Sport. And last but not least, Track Mode. Now I mainly drive in track mode, and I'll tell you why. When you change the settings on this car, here's what it's giving you the option to do. Z mode is this cool button right here that you can pre-program so you have all your performance at basically the push of one button. But I just wanna go into Z mode so you guys get a really good idea of what type of things that this car is changing when you do all the performance upgrades. So when you're going toggling bet between touring, sport, and track, you're getting to change, obviously, the engine sound. We know that, opening opening baffles. You're changing the steering. So the steering wheel is, oh, it's getting like stiffer. You got dampening. So in track mode, this feels like the equivalent of the steering feel of a Lamborghini Huracan. And Dave loves that about yeah, them. Lamborghini's my favorite car, high speeds especially. It feels very, very safe. You get that feeling in a Corvette. Then you have the dampening in the suspension. You also have the powertrain where now You've got the new double clutch paddles right up, left down here on the steering wheel. Um, what is kind of neat is they move with the steering wheel. That is very similar to a Porsche or a McLaren. Yeah. Lamborghini and Ferrari actually have them static. So when you turn the wheel, they stay right here. I do prefer that because yeah. when you're turning the wheel, you can just reach around the wheel and slap them and, and upshift. But this one, if the wheel's cranked all the way over, think about it, now, this is up and this is down. So that's a little, that's a little whatever. And then brake response. I've never had a car where electronically you change the brake pedal feel. So in track mode, you can put very little pressure on and it has the bite on a steel brake 
that's the equivalent to a ceramic. That's crazy. And ceramics, if you guys don't know this, are very, very expensive, about $20,000, and they take like up to six or eight months to be produ produced yep. to make a, a rotor. Let's just get on the road. All we're gonna do here is you have to first, you can't actually pull a paddle to put it in gear, you have to hit drive, then you hit M for manual, and away we go. There's a myth or a theory that you can't do donuts in this car. How, how do you find out if well, it's true or not? I don't know, I think you just hold this down and you start turning off what would be traction control. Mm -hmm. Will it do donuts? I don't know, let's hit the gas pedal and turn the wheel. Well, it turns out you can do donuts in a C8. Welcome to this episode of Mythbusters. moving quietly well the new gearbox being a double clutch transmission the technology they're using now it's up to date this gearbox is just as smooth as any supercar gearbox I mean just look at the shifts so you remember we're in track mode it's gonna have the most aggressive shifts as far as like quickness oh yeah boom boom amazing to spend let's say two hundred thousand dollars on a car right now unless you are absolutely obsessed over the brand which some people are mm -hmm. some people just will not drive this car because it's a Corvette yeah they don't want that branding however I think a smart enthusiast looks at beyond the badge yeah so yes the prancing horse is amazing but we're talking bang for the buck here this has everything you would want that's going to outperform the car behind us in F430 for less money. And uh, you have all the luxury creature comforts. This has heated and cool seats, dual zone climate control. I mean- Apple CarPlay. Apple <laughs> like Car literally. Uh, Apple CarPlay. The roof comes off on this. Think about this. Yeah. You go to Ferrari, you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Yep. Let's say you went and you wanted to buy the F8 Tributo. Yes. $380,000. Then they're going to come out with, as we know, topless version. Yes. It has the same amount of roof missing. It's this. That's yes. all it's missing on a Ferrari. It will be like $100,000 more, but it'll be the same car. Yeah, it's incredible. It doesn't have any more power. It doesn't have any more bells and whistles. Just this section of roof disappears. Now, yes, you have to do this manually and on a Ferrari, there's a mechanism and it's all electronic and fancy, but that's not $100,000 worth of anything. I can tell you that right now. It and makes you wonder how much markup. I mean, if, if, if Chevrolet can make this car, make a profit at $80,000, what's Ferrari making off of a, you know, three, four, five hundred thousand dollar car? Yeah. And You're gonna can, fund the F1 team somehow, I suppose. And can they do that only because Chevrolet is producing so many other models and mass producing so many cars that they have all this margin to be able to maybe not make as much money off of a Corvette? I don't know. I know that they're supposed to make quite a few of these cars. Now, we got kind of lucky. We did. Let's talk about a bit of an elephant in the room. The pandemic hit, they had to shut factories down. Yeah. And they were already committing that the 2020 Corvettes were gonna have certain features that they weren't gonna put on the 2021s. Right. And then the factory shut down. So instead of producing this year, the 7,000, I don't know, models of this car they were gonna put out on into the marketplace, now they're at like 2100, and the factories haven't opened yet. So, they so just a lot of those cars are gonna be 2021, so 2020 will probably be the rarest of this It very well could ever. be, and that's a speculation, but that also would add to the, the prestige of even owning one of these. The other question now comes down to depreciation. I don't know about previous model years, but sometimes with American cars, they do depreciate. However, this car already being the price that it is and it's sought after it is, I would say right now it's probably a much better buy than, especially McLaren, but even Ferrari or Lamborghini. This car is $80,000, so let's say you lost 20% over a few years of driving it. You know, math, that's only $8,000. What's, what's really gonna blow your mind is, just think, one day, and not that far off in the near future when the Z06 and the yeah. ZR1s come out over the next three to four years, 
you're gonna see these go from what we bought them for, eighty thousand dollars. This will be like a fifty thousand dollar car. Yeah. Best bang for the buck That's now, crazy. and it'll be hands down the best bang for the buck in three years from now. And by that point, the ECs will be hacked. You can do tunes. There'll be so much Africa oh, support for so this car. So much stuff. And you're not gonna pay Lamborghini pricing for an exhaust or other parts. Can I get you to be quiet for a second? Sure. sounds pretty good out of the box. Now is it is it comparable to sound to a supercar? No, I'm gonna say no. Yeah, I agree with you. A Lamborghini V10 or a Ferrari V8, yeah. even though Ferrari kind of ruined it with turbos, still sounds freaking amazing. Yeah, it sounds really good. This car does not sound bad though. No. I'm just comparing it to supercars at the moment. Yeah. So I think with an exhaust, depending on where you live, if you can go catless, you can get a little bit of a tune. Mm. This thing is gonna be sound pretty juicy. Mm. It's gonna sound really cool though if you go aftermarket turbos, a lot of people are. You're gonna get that turbo whistle anyhow, which just, I don't know, puts a smile on my face. <laughs> I'm curious, what do you guys think we should do with our car? Twin turbo or a supercharger? Whoever comes out with those, and I guarantee someone will come out with both. Which way do we go, TT or supercharger? For now, let's listen to the stock NA. It feels like being in the Huracan. It does. It really does. It As does. a passenger, listening to the, not obviously the noise, but listening to the clicks of the shifting, how fast it downshifts, upshifts. Let's talk about styling. Right out of uh, a Porsche stolen console right here. This very much how, looks so like You've been that. driving this car for a week now. Yes. How is this working for you? So it's okay because it puts me, my side of the car, up top, which is easier right. for me to reach. For me to try to reach, your controls down here is awkward. What's really awkward in this car, if we want to kind of slam it a little bit and try to find one thing to really complain about, guess where the uh, wireless charging port is for your phone in this car? Somewhere like over here would make sense. No, it's right behind me. Oh, right there. So imagine, look at this. Imagine trying to, try. imagine, you know, you're trying to like this. You're trying to put your phone in there or reach what you're, it, it makes no sense. Now, sitting in this car, in the cockpit, track mode on, an F1 style, left to right, tachometer, the more square style, La Ferrari or 4GT styling steering wheel. And the way that you're in here, like this is a cockpit. This seating position, the, the seats that we have, make you feel like you're driving a supercar. You feel special driving this car. You feel like you got every penny of your money's worth when you purchased this. The stitching is straight, I kid you not, when you, if you were to close your eyes and feel in here, then open your eyes, and you didn't know what car you were in, and I told you this was the new Ferrari or the new Lamborghini, I, I guarantee you, you'd believe it. If you just got rid of this and those logos and replace them with, with Ferrari badges, especially with this red, tell me when you see this car, Dave, when you see this car coming down the road, what are your thoughts? Uh, it looks like the F8. Right? It looks like a Ferrari. Like, like from, remove the logos on this car. Like he's, yeah. I'm not, we're not exaggerating. Remove the logos on this car. If you put me in this car, I would think it's a Ferrari. Now at some point in the near future, pretty soon we're gonna be opening things back up. Things have already gotten really loose where we live here. But when they get to a point where you can truly go and hang out with larger groups of people in the yeah. public, we wanna take this car and we wanna badge it as the prancing horse. And we yes. wanna park it somewhere and see what people's reactions are and ask them what model they think it is, how much they think this car is worth, the whole nine yards. And you know that's gonna be a very, very shocking and disturbing video to <laughs> Ferrari owners, but you know we'll do it. This car is only gonna get better. When they make the next variant of this car, it's gonna have around 700 horsepower. That's a Z06. And then the ZR1 is gonna have 850 horsepower. That's what they've claimed so far in the media. And then the Zora, a thousand horsepower with a warranty from the factory. It's incredible. All wheel drive and hybrid technology. That would take down a 720. That, yeah, it would. And how much is that gonna, gonna cost? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Far less than a 720. We don't know how hard it's gonna be. We don't know if they're gonna play some games like Ford did with the GT. Oh, you know, right. An application to get it. Yeah. Who knows? But I'll tell you this, that car is gonna be a rocket. Now, we do have to take into consideration that that car, when it comes out, is gonna be a 2025 model. Oh, wow. So, by then, yeah. what are the odds? Ferrari's gonna have a thousand horsepower into the well, whole if, car. Well, if I was an executive at Ferrari, a Lamborghini, or a Claire, I'd pants. be like, okay, guys, call everybody, call everybody. Call everyone. The Eagles have gone crazy. Make our cars fly. The Eagles have gone crazy. The Eagle, the Americans. The Americans are, you know? Dave, tell me. Oh, that's incredible. 
the lateral G's in my stomach right now is like, ugh. What's cool is you can actually see the G's. I can see them in my eyes of stars right now. So hold on, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna unsimplify this, and I'm gonna go to right here, performance. Yeah. So we can do a zero to 100 kilometers at 60 miles an hour. It'll time it for you. So you can do that. The other one is if you scroll down right here, you got a lap timer. Lap timer. And now we've got G's. Still Dave, look, we got G's. There you go, left corner. Hard left. Oh, I can feel it, I can feel it. Look at that thing, oh. going crazy. Braking. And no bullshit, I was very an A-Hass Damon. You guys can call the home and give us a phone number below. Uh, I was very skeptical buying the C8 because I was like, you know, it's a C8. It's like, it's not going to be on in comparison with what this channel is built on, the supercars. And now I'm like eating my words. Hold oh, on. there's a Ferrari Hold finally. Hold on. What's the G-forces? We went point eight eight lateral G-force. I'm going to throw up in a second. Stop, 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 stop. No, stop, 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 stop. I'm getting sick. I am getting sick. <laughs> I have a G meter. I was showing Dave the G's. What'd you get up to? 60 kilometers an hour, whatever the speed limit was. It was yeah. nine G's and I want to throw up right now because I get dizzy really easily. You must have been doing 30 kilometers an hour because you were way behind us. Yeah, why are you still slow to your Ferrari slow? there, tough guy? Uh, I wasn't trying. Man, I want a Corvette now. I want a Corvette. It's pretty amazing what this car can I'm do. I'm a Corvette guy now. Seriously, dude. Yeah, I can't wait for the mods. So, mods for this car. Mods. We haven't even talked about mods yet. Well, there's unfortunately not a lot of mods on the market already. Aero, pretty limited. There's a, a lip splitter you can get. Um, slightly more aggressive side sk uh, skirt. Is that factory stuff or is that aftermarket? Well, there was a factory option, but then there is an aftermarket company that's already mimicking that. Hold on one second, we got a cocky Ferrari owner here. Oh yeah. There you go, Chris. Take your moment, take your moment, Chris. Well, give him the sound. A little bit of arrow you can do. Wheels unlimited. Dude. Yeah. Wheels is the first thing that you yeah. should do and that you can do on this car. The cool thing is, is they're developing currently at KW with a friend of ours, Amelia Harper. They're developing a different suspension setup. Oh really? Now, this does come with a coilover suspension, and this has already got the dampening, electronic dampening. So you can actually lower this car as it is. But this car, that's optional. So we have like option to this car. Correct. We have the, the base wouldn't have that. We have the performance package. Got it. Now, with this, uh, you could lower it right now. However, factory wheels sit in a little bit inside the, the fenders. So if you were to lower it too much or even a little, it would just accentuate the wheels being tucked into yeah. the fenders. So you want to get an aftermarket wheel of some type to make it more flush with the exterior of the fender. Then it gives it that really nice look. Like, that's how you get the look of the Ferrari. Yeah. The yeah. wheels are flush with the fender. It's lowered just the right amount. And look at it clean, sexy looking. So we're gonna wanna do that with this car at some point, but we're debating wide body. So one-off wide body kits, we have a few different designers rendering out different variants of what we want. There's super, super aggressive, which I, I wanna go for. Very race car-esque, big nasty looking diffuser on yeah. the back, uh, some form of a wing and all of that sort of thing. So if we do that, we're going to require a different wheel setup if we do that right away. There's right. no point in getting right. uh, wheels for the car. So that's one option. Performance, we already talked about that. That's it. And then you can start going crazy with exteriors, interior stuff if you want. You can customize your interior. Someone's going to make like a crazy carbon Alcantara steering wheel, I'm sure, you know. Shout out to Carbon Tastic. Carbon Tastic, I was going to so, say. You can get this from the factory though, out of Alcantara. Really? Yes. There are Alcantara factory wrapped steering wheels and they look amazing. We're gonna go bananas on this car, you guys. Full wide body, we're thinking. Performance up the yin yang. As much power as we can get out of it reliably. Because yeah. one thing I wanna do is I wanna keep all the things that they've done right in this car and not yeah. screw them up. It's yeah. easy to put aftermarket parts on a car and completely ruin the platform. Don't wanna do that. I wanna keep what I love about this car, what we're bragging about, yeah. and the reliability of it. Because I have enough unreliable super <coughs> Mercy Lago. 
I have enough unreliable supercars in my life. Nice little drive. Beautiful sunset on a Vancouver Island day. Yeah, this is a new development up here. This is your development? You this, did this? This is my development. Wow, I remember I'm a, big, real, I'm a big real estate guy, you know? Because <laughs> I have so much time outside of YouTube. I'm thinking we should just buy all this property and, and start our own DDE mountain track. Oh, dude, Pikes Peak Vancouver Island edition. <laughs> There's the off-road trail right there. Right there. <laughs> but even just cruising at the speed limit, like you just get a really good sense of just how planted this car is. I, I know I keep talking about that, but I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. Wow. The little of this car is completely planted. Yeah. This is crazy. Well, that's it for today's video on the all new C8. I do not own one, Damon has the C8. I think he knew ahead of time how awesome his car was. He was like, do you want it or should I take it? I'm like, yeah, you know nothing take about it. this car. I was uh, just as skeptical as Dave was. I mean, to be honest, I've never owned a Corvette. I've never been a huge fan of them, to be honest. I mean, I can appreciate them from an enthusiast perspective because some of them make big power right out the gate. Yep. The ZR1's, no joke of a car. Yep. But it just was never my thing. And they really stepped it up with this car. Guess what else this car can do? That no supercar, none, not a single supercar can do. Oh, we're about to start. It's pretty cool. It's pretty not cool. Not a single supercar can yeah. do that. Not one. But here's the good news for you guys watching. Don't feel too bad for me. The Squadra Corsa is on a transport right now thanks to Plycar Automotive Logistics. They'll be here the day after tomorrow. I'll have the Squadra back. Guess what else this car does, no supercar does. It's about me right now. I'm talking about my Squadra Corsa. I don't care about you. Okay, what's your super, what's the Corvette do, Damon? This camera is attached to the rear view mirror. It's an entire screen. And it can be a screen or a mirror. I don't understand. Like, how do they make this car for $80,000 and make a profit and sell it to the public? You'll find out when the warranty ends. I want to. Oh yeah. <laughs> I want to know what the supercar manufacturers are gonna do to like offset any of this, because this isn't even in the same ballpark. It's 80 grand. It's under six figures. The closest, cheapest supercar that you can consider a supercar, brand new, is all over 200 grand. Name another. Name any other supercar that's mid-engine with 500 horsepower that's under 200 grand. R8? What's an R8 new? An R8's over 200,000. Um, GTR? It's not really a supercar, though, is it? Oh, I don't is, know. Is a GTR you... a supercar, Chris? Yes. It is it? It's a 4x4 supercar. It is? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chris says it is. I mean, you can't buy a Ferrari, you can't buy a Lambo, you can't buy a McLaren. They don't sell anything that's under that price range. So, I don't know, man. This is going to be the market disruptor. Mark my words. Thanks for watching this episode, you guys. Do us a favor. 55% of the audience watching has not subscribed to the channel. Just subscribe. Go right now, click the button, turn on notifications so you can watch a future episode of us doing completely stupid stuff that this car shouldn't be doing. And at some point, I will break it. I will find the limits. I always do. I might have to drive it into a wall. I've done that. Walk away into the distance, dramatically. Walk I don't away. Know why. Hold on, the car. Where are you going? The car's right here. Hold on. I think this is what Corvette owners do. They get lost. Peace. Bye, Damon.